Today I'm going to replicate an interior of a bedroom, so let's get started. So I think I'm going to start by making the room. I'm just going to leave it empty for now and like not make it into a room so that we can like clearly see like how I'm going to build it and stuff. Bedroom seems like really elegant so I feel like we're going to use a lot of that modern luck stuff. There we go. And I'm just going to use like the basic white swatch. For the windows, I want to replicate that arch at the top. These ones aren't that bad but well they do come in a white swatch but i feel like they're very thin in comparison to what it looks like in the actual picture i need something that is the size of this window but it looks like this window instead but yeah these are way too big i think i'm just gonna stick to my first one and they kind of clip but i mean honestly it's not if I just move it up, it's not that bad. I mean, uh, curtains that I was mentioning before from Modern Lux, yeah, these ones, it's that bad either, but I don't like that the windows open. So if I could find maybe like a closed version of that, but I don't think that exists. I kind of have to replicate this design. I really like this uh, on this side, actually. It doesn't look that bad. The replication side by side looks actually pretty nice. So I feel like I'm, I feel I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna try to find the rods that I usually can't find. Yeah, this item is literally sometimes such a struggle to find. I would have preferred like a black swatch for the rod. And also at the archway that we see in the picture, but I'm not really going to do anything like special to it. Make an extra little room here, just so it doesn't like go out towards like the grass. I'd, I'd rather it look like it's going to like another part of the house. The flooring in this bedroom has like a nice herringbone design. So I'm just going to like replicate that as close as I can with like what we have. No, we don't really have much of a lot of like herringbone design. This one seems like the most appropriate one. But yeah, moving on to the bedroom, like the actual bed. I feel like this is really nice, but it doesn't really work with the kind of elegance that we're going for in this bedroom. This one could probably do. So I'm, I'm gonna use this one for now. So I just added these uh, four pillows here, but I'm gonna try to rotate them using the tool. Mold. I feel like that looks much better when it's rotate it a little bit just so like you can add to like the realism there's this like geometric side tickle that i want to replicate because i think there's something similar to that yeah something like this and it's way more elegant the one in the actual image honestly that's that's not that bad considering the fact that it's not really going to be usable it's kind of just there for like show the actual bedside table i can't really see it but it looks like there's some sort of like floating so i'm going to try to replicate that like the basic shelf is like the most appropriate one I feel like the uh, the body of this lamp is a bit too thick. And yeah, that's not looking too bad, to be honest. But I did a simple candle and I kind of like put it, um, put most of its body inside of the table. So it looks like a shorter candle. Because I realized how we don't have a singular candle that is quite small. And I'm quite nitpicky when it comes to like being specific. So yeah, that, that's my approach for replicating that candle on the table but their rug is huge so I think what I'm gonna have to do is like use something that I can scale but it wouldn't lose its quality so like, I feel like this rug is actually really nice but I don't think it comes with a swatch that would be appropriate I mean this one's not that bad but it doesn't really represent the design that we're going for this one's honestly not a bad option either when you scale it it's not that bad either like it scales pretty nicely I'm not sure i'll keep it for now might make this a bit smaller yeah the room feels way more narrow than what i was building in before there's a very nice fireplace replicate on this side of the wall i don't know if i'm going to be able to find a design that looks exactly the same this one actually looks pretty nice like it's really oversized it's very grand there seems to be some nice flowers so for the plants on top of the fireplace i kind of just used this um planter but because it's covered by the body of the fireplace, it kind of like looks nicer because I tried to find plants that were a bit like extravagant, like over the top, where it was like a bit overgrown. But I couldn't really find a plant that kind of looked like that. So instead, I went with using this plant. And I also used this plant, the miniature vine, which is small, but I just sized it up and so that it doesn't um, toggle onto like a slot place. I kind of just moved the fireplace and then placed it on top using the the number nine key. Looks like there is some sort of gap 
at the top of the fireplace, which is kind of like revealing more windows. We could add like a little room here. Maybe extend that out. Add something like this. Maybe something that is a bit just above the plant. Yeah, something like that. Hear me out. This might look bad. But I came up with something like this. I feel like this looks pretty good in terms of like how close it is to the picture. So what I tried to do here was uh, behind the fireplace, there's not really like the usual where there's like a painting or like a TV above the fireplace. There's kind of like a empty space that goes towards the back. And I think there's like some, there's probably like some more windows and stuff like that on that side. I might use the spa day stuff, but I know it glows, but because it's in such a small space, I feel like it doesn't really matter that much. I feel like the room is a bit too wide now. Like it was very big at first, but now it's a bit too long. Move this to where that is. Okay, so what I changed was I made this room move towards the bedside more. And I also moved the arch a little bit as well as this wall. And I also moved this so it's closer to the fireplace because I feel like in the, the reference picture, it looks very close together. Whereas mine before it looked a bit far away, which made the room look even bigger than it already was. So yeah, I feel like it's turning out pretty good right now. It's actually not that bad. Moving on to the actual seating area and stuff like that on this side, it's kind of like a simple white cap. I'm not sure if the windows on the side of the fireplace is actually windows or if it's actually doors, but I'm gonna be cautious about where I place my seating area. So I might just place it like one tile in front of the doors, which might look a bit weird, but it's kind of just like adding to the realism. I feel like that would be realistic to be honest. Like it's not really covering the doorway. This one is honestly not a bad option, but the sofa doesn't curve in the picture. So I'm gonna have to go with something that looks more well, something like this to be honest it kind of looks like they have a mirror in the corner as well as a uh, a really huge plant next to it this one's actually pretty nice but it clings onto the wall i think i'm gonna go to something like this to be honest it's honestly not that bad but it's a bit too big and it doesn't actually look like the plant in the actual picture this one's actually pretty good as well this one's a good candidate i feel like that one also works like i feel like that genuinely works pretty well so i think i'm gonna keep that for now one of those hanging um like this one yeah this elegant lamp and then kind of just like place it in the corner not a bad design choice to be honest that doesn't look too bad i'm kind of considering changing these sofas to be from the same pack so these ones kind of match but at the same time they don't and they kind of come with their own pillows i like the addition of the blanket as well so it kind of just like adds to like realism isn't really like a glass table it kind of matches the most to the picture in my opinion because it has like really nice thin legs and it's kind of kind of like a small side coffee table if that makes sense so i feel like that works best for this um space for now i think there's like a small like glass vase or something on there and i think there's some books and some plants so i'm just gonna like try to replicate that as well Okay, so I added the glass like jug thing that I kind of like saw from the picture. I added some book as well as like a plant and there wasn't enough table space. So I kind of had to F9 this one, not F9, but use a number nine key on it so that I can like lift it up and put it on the table. Yeah, kind of struggling with finding something for this part of the build. I think I'm just going to go with a plant that looks like this because it has like the thin branch type of style that I want even though these leaves are a bit too huge for my liking for this space it's not really that bad so yeah I feel like this is the closest we're gonna get see that I, I don't even know what that is but there's like a bedside table thingy like around like where this entry hallway thingy is I don't know why but it's I feel like it's here in the build like in the picture I don't know why it's like that. Remove this entrance thingy over here and then add this kind of like over here. Another nightstand, but like it's on this side of the entrance way. And obviously because this doesn't slot, I just use a number nine key to just lift it up there. Okay, so I just added like the same sort of thing 
to the other side and I kind of broke a little thing into the wall because uh, because this was a room it looked kind of different to this room it had like different lighting so to make it the same I just removed that and then I just added some like clutter pieces on top of here I added like another random mirror to the wall but I, I don't know it kind of like works it's fine and then yeah the same plant as before and the last step that is really left is this like middle place thingy in like opposite the bed honestly i would do something like this to be honest and like put them together maybe if I find something more similar to the picture okay so i think i'm gonna stick with this because i can't really find anything else that's gonna like really work well so i just added these standalone pillows in like a basic white color and i used the tool mod so i just kind of like rotated them because they're originally like this way so i just rotate, rotated like two and i changed the size and stuff to make it nicer changing this plant because it's kind of like it's kind of like an eyesore from far away it doesn't really blend in with everything else it's like a very bright green color be a plant that is a bit more muted something like this honestly this one is not a bad option either and there's also a painting i might go with the new tv because it is it's basically a painting but it's also functional as like a tv and the frame is like really thin and like the pictures inside look really like sleek so i feel like this is actually a really good way to use paintings above bedrooms as well even though i don't, I don't know how functional it would be but i feel like it's not a bad approach either so i think i'm gonna go with something like this maybe and yeah i think this is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed watching me remake this bedroom if you guys would like to download it you can go on the gallery and search for my name i'll put all my details in the description and yeah if you liked it let me know by leaving a like and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and if you want more content like this let me know and if you have any suggestions on what other type of build you would like me to do or other rooms that you would like me to recreate or pictures let me know in the comments below and i will take it into consideration but yeah thank you very much and goodbye